Hey you guys, it's me Kiana coming at you today, and I am coming at you. Um, as you all know, if you've seen in the previous video, um, I am starting Skinny Fiber again. And um, I'm so looking forward to it uh, because I know that it works. I know that I just need to basically crack down on myself. Um, and I think that people misunderstood when I was doing that encouragement video for plus size women and women that actually struggle with self-esteem issues in general. Um, because I think that a lot of people um, tend to hear what they want to hear or just pinpoint one part of what people say on YouTube. I'm not saying don't improve yourself. I'm not saying don't um, try to lose weight. I'm not saying don't push yourself. I'm not saying don't exercise. I'm not saying don't go on weight loss journeys. Don't try different things. I'm not saying any of that. What I'm actually saying is that in spite of um, whether you're up or down, um, to love yourself, to know that you are a worthwhile person, to know that you are worthy of love and respect and honor, um, and you have value, whether you're a size 22 or whether you're a size 32 or whether you're a size 8. Um, that's what I was saying. And we all should do better. We should all strive for, uh, to do better, and we should all tr um, strive to um, be better people in general and be healthier, not only for ourselves but for our family and also the body of Christ. Um, my struggle may not be your struggle. You may struggle with, you know, drinking, or um, you may struggle with, uh, you know, lying or stealing or whatever. But my struggle is food, um, and that's something that I've turned to over the years for comfort. Whether it's right or wrong, I know that that's something I need to work on. And that's something that whether people see me do a million weight loss journeys, I will always strive, always strive, and fight, and try to do better. So, um, as you all know, like I said, I am starting the fiber, uh, skinny fiber, um, again, and I'm going to keep a weight loss journey. Um, so that way, even if I'm not on YouTube, you guys will actually know what I'm eating, um, not to just um, attack me or use it against me or anything like that or to throw slurs. No, I'm doing it because there's a lot of women out there just like me, um, and they also would like to have meal ideas and, and to see, okay, that way she lost a little bit more weight. Let me see what she ate to do that. I think that that's great, and I think that's important for us to do. Um, that's a way of helping each other, and I think that that should come natural to us as women. Um, so, what I'm doing is sharing um, not only some things I got on the budget and sharing a place that you can go get things on a budget as well. I've done this before. I've shared this place before, but this is just giving you a tangible example of the Asian food markets of the business. All the stuff you're going to see, you guys, I got all of this stuff for $42. All of these fruits and vegetables, also a lot of tofu. Um, yeah, so make sure you look at everything. I'll tell you guys actually what everything is, and I paid $42 for everything at my local Asian food market. These are just some items I'm going to use in collaboration with the things I already have in my fridge. Um, I keep a well-stocked pantry and also fridge, but I like to get other things as well to motivate me. Um, to eat something different, also for my palate to have something different. So this is for not only myself, but my entire family. Um, and this is just adding to the fruits and vegetables I already have in the house. All right, so enough of me talking, and now I'm going to show you. <laughs> all of these items that you're seeing, you guys, I got all of these items for 42 bucks. Now, all of these items for 42 bucks. So let me go over it and tell you guys actually what you're seeing. You're seeing five pound bags of onions. Now, most of my viewers know I am an onion lover. So what I did was I got 10 pounds, and guess how much they were? These were 99 cents each, you guys. So I got 10 pounds of onions for 99 cents, and... Um, I like to fix veggie subs and whether it's hot and cold. And anything I usually eat, I do include onion in. Um, I also have plenty of, uh, you know, different kinds of vegetables, again, in my fridge. So if you're not seeing a vegetable, if you're not seeing certain vegetables, I already have them in my fridge. I have cauliflower. I have broccoli. I have uh, pepper trios, which is the green, the red, and also the orange peppers. I also have... Um, a couple of cucumbers, I have a bag of radish, radishes, and um, yeah, so I'm adding to the stuff I already have. I have green beans, 
I have canned green beans and I have fresh ones as well. And I also have a head of cabbage. So, all right, and this is uh, two, um, two heads of iceberg lettuce. And these are 69 cents each at my local Asian food market. Now, um, your local Asian food market may be different names. Mine is called um, HN, I believe it's called HN, something like that. But um, you can just Google Asian food market in your area and you'll find an Asian food market. Um, and they have wonderful prices. Their vegetables are often very, very fresh, you guys, at really, really great prices. So you definitely have to check out your local Asian food market. I've told you guys that before in previous videos, but I need to stress that to you because not only you can eat healthy um, or either eat, make the best choices for you personally, we, we all don't know what a best choice for you is. Only you know that. Um, so the choices that I make are based upon the fact that I'm used to eating, you know, things that are totally not good for me. So whether you consider something great for me or not, these are compared to what I'm accustomed to eating. And in comparison, it's a great, great difference, okay? So I just want to make that clear as well. <laughs> um, these uh, two heads of lettuce, like I said, they were 69 cents. Um, they had globe um, grapes. They had these for $1.49 a pound. Um, so I got two big bags of them. And these are the really, really big bags, you guys. They also had firm tofu. And as you're going to see, you're going to see six containers. I don't know if you can see it all. But I bought six containers, so what I do is I like to freeze it. And as you all know, many of you have been viewing my videos, so you know one of the tricks that I've taught you guys with your tofu to make it taste more like a chicken texture when you're fixing your tofu nuggets and tofu uh, fake chicken patties and stuff like that. Um, well, what you want to do is freeze it and then thaw it out, and that gives it more of a spongy um, texture, but it, it really does resemble and also taste similar to chicken. Um, of course, with your tofu, you want to season it extremely well, or you will feel like you're eating nothing. <laughs> so I got six containers. These were only uh, 79 cents. 79 cents a container, you guys, which is a great, great difference than your regular food market. If you go in your regular food market, you're going to pay about $2.99 for a container of tofu. I can get from the local Asian market, I can get about three or four of these for the price of one regular supermarket would sell one. So that's, again, just giving you confirmation that you actually save a lot more when you're going to the Asian food market. Um, mushrooms were 89 cents a container, and these are not the half ones that you get, the half containers that you get in your local food market. These are the long containers, and these were 89 cents. And you can see how fresh they are, actually, you guys. Um, again, stressing that the Asian food market, their vegetables and fruits are usually very, very fresh. They had baskets of kiwi, and you get, let me count how many in this, two, four, six, two, four, six, eight, ten. You get ten kiwis in here, you guys, and these were, I think, one ninety nine, and you're getting ten in here, so that's like five for a dollar, which is a really great price. And you also get this little basket, and I like to keep these little baskets for when I want to make um, maybe a medium-sized fruit salad for the household or whatever. But, yeah, just be multitask um, and use things for other, you know, sources. Use things for other um, things that you can use for around the house and stuff like that. I'm trying to look at something as I'm talking. That's why I lost my train of thought. <laughs> okay, and these are cherries. Cherries are one of my favorite, favorite, favorite fruits. And they had them for, I think, one... 89 or 199 a pound. So I got a bag of cherries. Delish. <laughs> they also had um, honeydew melon. These melons, you guys, were 99 cents. You really can't beat the price. 99 cents, you guys. And I got three. So that was $3 for three small ones. You can just basically cut that in half and you can have breakfast in the morning just by eating that. So, um, yeah. So they were 89 cents. Um, I don't know if you can see, but I do have a watermelon right there. That is a seedless watermelon. I got that for $4.99, I believe. So you really can't beat that price as well. Believe it or not, those fresh pineapples back there, you guys, were $1.49 for the whole pineapple. And they're fresh. So you're getting fresh pineapple for $1.49. Not a pound, 
for the whole entire uh, pineapple, whichever one you chose. So those were great. You get two of them for three dollars. Um, they also had strawberries. This is the big container, the long wide container. These were one forty nine for the whole container. So I went and got two of these containers uh, for strawberries, you guys. And for two big long containers, they were only um, three dollars. So you can easily just either you can put this stuff in if you're juicing, and you know I do juice. Um, on occasion, I do not juice every day, but I do juice um, at least several times a week. And um, you can just juice and um, add some of these things in it. Um, as far as the strawberries, you can make a quick, easy, low, uh, low-cal um, dessert out of it. Just put some, you know, fat-free Cool Whip on it and slice some strawberries, and and you're good to go. And it makes you, you know, you don't feel overwhelmed with eating too much. Um, it's not that fattening. It does cure your sweet tooth. So I'm just giving you some ideas, you guys. The other thing I wanted to show you guys is these. Now, these were not cheap. They are $10 a piece at my local food market. Um, now, you can get these from Walmart. I'm pretty sure probably a little bit cheap, cheaper. But these are your sports bottles by Breda. Um, it's the water fil um, fil filter system. It says it makes tap water taste great from anywhere. So I got one for Nene and one for myself so that she can have it for when she's in school. Um, also, she can have it for on the go. And I got it for me because things like this um, basically encourage me to drink water because that's one of the things I struggle with. So so that I can increase my water intake, I like to try to buy special little things like special bottles and stuff like that. Um, last month, I think I bought a little Diva bottle. It had little rhinestones on it and stuff like that. Just to encourage me, and little stuff like that actually does encourage me to drink the water. Um, but the filter system in, is inside of this bottle, you guys. So this is a really, really great, um, I haven't seen nobody really talking about this. And even though it's $10, the fact that you can um, replace 150 bottles of water with just using this, if you think about it, at the rate of, even, I know most places that have the vending machines, um, a spring water is more than a dollar, but think about it. If it's a dollar um, and you're replacing 150, that's $150 that you spent. When you can just get this, use any kind of water, it filters it, and you save, what, 140 bucks just on that filter if you're, just, if you're the type of person that's buying a lot of water. Now, this isn't beneficial for those who drink regular tap water, but if you're one of those that buy bottled water, all day long, every day, then this is the way to go. This is going to save you big time. I mean, that's the amount of what you would pay for a bill. So if you buy this, that's an extra amount to do something maybe with your family or go on a, you know, a couple of nice dinners with your family, two nice dinners or whatever. So that's a big savings, you guys. Now, for those of you that are not concerned, um, <laughs> if it doesn't apply, let it fly. But I'm just telling you that this is just a great, um, great way to save money also having um, your – your, you know, your clean water and increase and encouraging you to increase your water intake. So on that note, you guys, I hope this has helped you in some way, shape, or form to even spark maybe some inspiration, encouragement. Um, we don't have to always be, we don't have to always, um, what's the word? We don't have to always, you know, um, say something. We don't, we don't always have to be perfect. We don't always have to succeed at everything we do. We don't have to, you know, do what society says is being successful at it. Um, but as long as we're trying and as long as we are pushing and trying to reinvent ourselves, as long as we're actively doing change and actively pursuing to be better, you know, that that's your winner in my eyes if you're just doing that. And I will never give up. I will never give in. I will constantly reinvent myself. If I have to reinvent myself a million times, I will do so because I will never lay down and die. So, all right, you guys, I love you all so much. Talk to you guys later. All of this stuff, 42 bucks. Can't beat it. Asian market, Google it. <laughs> Be blessed.